There's no tea. I just want to block a bunch of people. <laughs> I think there's just a couple people who go there and I just thought of it like, I don't know, Kermit, you're one of them. You're Alyssa's friend. I blocked Alyssa, so. Oh yeah, you were in there. You, goodbye. Yeah, I blocked Alyssa. I don't want to be mean, but like I have to. I don't want my world at all in any way, especially online. Well, especially in real life, but online too. Like intermingling, like the no contact has to be like no intermingling of like, like anybody. So if you're a Beezer, you need to be a supporter from now on or else I don't need you here. Like, I don't care. And I don't mean that to sound offensive, but like, do you know what I mean? Like I have to totally move on from that realm. Exactly, medical. So like any trolls or people who just are negative or um, just put me at risk of like, being in a bad headspace i just cannot i can't i don't i don't want that anymore like i don't want that like environment um it's just i cannot you know what i mean like it's just like why would i have a bunch of my supporters beezers who i live stream with you guys for hours a day to go and hang out with somebody who's my fucking literal enemies um they will stay my enemies and i unfortunately have decided that's how it has to be i cannot be cordial with any of these people because of how severe the shit that they did to me was and they have no fucking respect to even acknowledge or apologize so no that's for me that's my decision and i'm protecting myself um yeah i know i really disagree so that being said this is why i'm doing this i'm doing it calmly i'm doing it with a level head i'm not raging i'm not angry i don't allow these people to get me angry anymore they're never gonna have that over me and it's clearly bullshit the whole thing with the <laughs> I, I just see people saying things like oh good for you you're a classy lady good for sticking up for yourself it's been long overdue no i need to remind you and this is the message for reaction channels that that are making me look crazy just because they don't like that i call them out Number one, I need to fucking remind you that this monster is on freaking trial right now for a horrible crime. Number two, the two of them have done horrible shit that you're obviously just ignoring or choosing not to believe, whatever. So now you're going to give them a pat on the back because you don't like me. So take your hypocrisy and shove it up your fucking ass. And have fun supporting somebody who really, 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 you have the situation completely wrong, but whatever. Anyways, that's all I'm going to say about that. Um... You don't need to warn me, a certain reaction channel, that things are going to go bad. Because they're not. Because I'm not going to let them get that way. I can take control of my life anytime I need to. And I have done that. And there's no way I'm going to let these people be my downfall. So, keep talking out your ass, but none of it's true. He's probably mad because he doesn't have a criminal case. They don't. They don't have any case. And anything she thinks she's going to send me, I'm going to rip up and laugh in her fucking face because it's bullshit to be harassing somebody like honestly no sorry <laughs> jamie rose thank you i know i know mimi pondu i'm permanently blocking people hi nashi queen easy busy i know in this chat but don't forget you were begging us all to like him <clears throat> no, i don't think so penny J. So we'll have to agree to disagree. And if you don't like it, tough shit. No, I don't ever watch her. Someone said she was like rubbing butter on her gappy teeth. Like, you're not funny. Like, I know you're trying to make a name for yourself on YouTube, but you're not funny. So is that supposed to be funny or what? She was blocking a bunch of people and he had no idea. Mia Wallace in their chats. Yeah. Just because you're a paying member doesn't give you the right to be here and disrespectful. You know what I mean? So, yeah.
but there's especially just like certain people that I know go there you know what I mean so like I have to just like I'm just thinking about like and no actually while you're obsessing over me mm -hmm, with your two bags I'm laying in bed booking a trip thank you <coughs> no I don't have a gag order but I just don't feel like saying our names no one cares about irrelevant people here Zoe you're glad Alyssa's gone. I just don't want like like younger, I don't know. July, I'm gonna be going to Caribbean. Caribbean or whatever it's called. It's like a huge festival in Toronto. And I know I don't like crowds. So we'll see if I <laughs> But I really I don't know. It looks like it would be a lot of fun. So I was sleeping and I was like looking at hotels and booking <laughs> Why do people, like, what people don't get that I like to be alone? Like, this is probably somebody eating dog food out of a can by themselves, watching every little thing I do. <laughs> I love being by myself. I don't know, I might take a girlfriend, though, to this kind of thing. I have a couple of girlfriends that would probably love that. I think my friend Tina would love it. That's what I picture these gross haters who send $2. <laughs> the ones who are obsessed, I picture them all looking like mukbang fatty. Like, I swear. I know, it was such a good drag. Ugh. I hate Penny J. You don't like Penny J? Goodbye, Penny J. <laughs> I remember you from before, you're annoying. I have really no idea why people get off on judging others that literally pay for to insult who bake Korean. I just don't know what react like reaction channels will be like. Oh, um. Whatever will she talk about? She has nothing to talk about. Whatever are you gonna talk about? Especially FFG. I mean, you were literally, your only content is being up my and Natter's ass. So now that we have nothing to do with each other, what are you gonna do? Go to Orange Julep and do a mukbang? Like, what the fuck? You can troll, yeah? I don't care if you, it's a type of trolling. The Tour Riviere bees. I'm not going anywhere near Quebec for a while. Well, he's one of them, big Korean, and then his dumb dramatic videos, like, Oh, that's fucky, they're still blocked. Maria hasn't popped up yet, but I'm gonna block them if they ever do. Need a fresh new star, Maria. And we can enjoy life again. Don't give a crap what others say. Absolutely, yeah. Detroit and Windsor Beast. Um, I'm not sure if Happy B Day what's going on with the cruise, but it's that, or I wanna really do, I wanna go on a cruise, but October is like, I wanna do so much Halloween shit in October. They're stalking your socials, Vicky. Get a life, fuck. Right? I mean, uh, Toronto is Toronto. <laughs> Halloween, there's just so much to do in Halloween time, you know? Not too much. I'm just, I was just booking a hotel for the caravan, which is apparently starts on the 28th, just so far away. I'm gonna push myself to do it, I think. But we'll see what happens, I mean that or i don't know if i want to do that or get like a rent like a cabin i want to do something summery or maybe go camping i don't know yes exactly Alyssa. goodbye you don't just watch you go and participate and then talk about him here like i, I don't want anybody talking about him here i don't want anyone i don't want anyone except for supporters as my beezers like if you're not a supporter i don't want you as a beezer Period. You can watch my channel. You are free to comment. Like I said, I don't even really go to my comments. I did tonight for a few minutes and blocked a few people, but that's about it. I usually don't. So feel free to bees or whatever you want to do in the comments. But I don't want people who are not supporters supporting me here. <laughs> like, I don't want it. I'm blocking trolls, so. The thing is, Alyssa, you always lead up to Nader and Didi and support them, so why ask? But if you're blocked, you can't leave comments. Oh, true. <laughs> We need sleep. I get attacked in your comments. I know, maybe I should weed out the real bad haters who come every time. They're always the same psychos. Just get rid of them and then... I don't know what to do. Who cares if people... I mean, who cares if people attack you? And the, they're freaking nobodies. Stay away from comments and open chat. I, I never read my comments. Like, same shit from the same people. Over and over. Like, they leave novels. I don't even read them. Like, you're a psycho. <laughs> you're talking to yourself. Yeah, I'm going to put his name in my blocked words list. I can assure you, if you're trying to ever get my attention, the minute you're even a dick or a bit sarcastic, I won't even, I'll fucking ignore you. So if you ever, ever think that kindness, 
doesn't work, you're wrong. But like in this kind of context, like with the beating, I just don't want it, you know? A lot of haters, yeah, you know, baked Korean. I don't under. It's not that, it's just that for this specific purpose, I'm trying to get over something that's been hard to get over. Now, not at all. Now, I'm not even like at the fate, like right now, my anger has gotten just so bad for like the situation, like in these people that it just flipped a switch for me and I no longer care about them at all. And I don't have any good feelings towards these people. So for me, it has to be that way. <laughs> That's really, thanks Lori. I like to be like goofy and jokey and stuff, you know? Um, oh, I thought so too, but I just don't read the comments. I let people leave comments for the engagement. I just don't go there. Someone was like, I used to support you until you doxed, uh, dude, dude, like, excuse me? No, 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 she doxed herself by putting her, like, it's so easy for people to just, people found out who she was the, the day she was there at his house. And what did she do? Him and her made fun of me, taunted me, everything else, and then you think you have a case. Laughable. That's why if I ever get anything, I'm gonna rip it. That's all I gotta say. Holly, why are you attacking Vicky? I never doxed anybody. Anybody. What's his face was accidental. And I, no, I didn't dox him. Kiwi Farms did. You find out where she worked on Twitter. Exactly. All of her info was on LinkedIn and Kiwi Farms shared it. Exactly. So you have no kid? Nothing. Nothing. So I find it funny. He probably went in front of a, a building and posed for that thumbnail. Like you have nothing. Nothing. Time will tell. Time will just tell how all stupid you all are. That's all. I'm here to support you and watch your content. Thank you, I appreciate it, Lori. <laughs> I don't know, Vicky. I think people are just bored and pick someone to target. That's why I'm like, I don't like that shit in my chat, so it's not gonna fly. <laughs> no. No one can replace the Holy Trinity. I don't have anything against young people, just immature people. Certain types of people. I know I'm immature, but not in that way. Where I like taunt people, I love that stupid jokes about people. I don't know. Yeah, exactly. That's the thing, Brie. Like, don't insert yourself in the middle of something that causes people to have high emotions and then expect to, like, cry legal action. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? No, there's no drama anymore here. My chat's gonna be very boring from now on. I like boring. I like boring right now. So, okay, I blocked Tessa. I never liked them anyway. They're always rude. Boring and funny. Drama is for suckers. Drama is just tiring. I'm tired of it. It's sickening. You know, like, just bees or get out. In comments, it's absolutely. Uh, yeah, Vicky, well. I just think it has nothing to do with me, really. You know? <laughs> I just stop worrying about controlling how other people react about me and just learning to just move on and do my thing regardless you know it makes people mad when you just continue to be happy in situations where they don't expect you to be simple and light exactly jewels you have to be in the mood to be playful about it or else it's toxic so stressful you has to just be you thank you and i did go nuts a few times like i freaked out like cuba everything i was not okay i was just blocking everybody playing cheeseburgers you would have been happy <laughs> i hope so mary i'm gonna try to work on it i guess I just want things to be a bit of a different direction, you know? And there's just some members, like, that just deter other people from chatting and just attacking my other members and just going in there, causing shit. Like, they don't care. Like, you know what I mean? I don't want people like that in here. Hey, Alexis. I'm doing okay. You have to have a really tough skin, for sure, Vicky. I mean, God, if I really cared about any of these people, if I let it get to me, yeah, I wouldn't be able to do it. Sometimes it's okay to not be okay. Absolutely. Do I have any plans for tomorrow? I'm supposed to see this guy <laughs> um, tomorrow. So I have to get up and clean up a bit. Normal daily life shit. Domestic life. Oh, thanks, Vicky. I try. Sometimes I break down. I think he's 23, <laughs> Alexis, but yeah. The Fuka and Cash. I know, that's all I want is their wiener. Everything in life has to throw at you. And Vicky, honestly, like, I feel like being a YouTuber has made me so much more resilient to things. Because that's true. 
it's like what they say doesn't kill you makes you stronger it's so true because you know yes happy me day if there's like if it's people um who support nasty reaction channels well, then yeah i don't want them here as beezers i was not a fan yeah he just gets he's kind of stupid a little bit like he's not funny a lot of them are just not funny like when they try to be funny amber lynn says she watches me as background noise yay Charlie is just rude. She doesn't even provide entertainment. She's just big mad, as usual. People even still watch her friggin' irrelevant ass. I never go in his or reaction channels, people who make them living off someone else's misery. <laughs> yeah, Lynn. Hi, Lynn. I mean, I, I know that there's, like, for every person, like, that has enough followers, there's gonna be people who discuss what they do. I'm not mad about that. But there is an element huge element of hypocrisy in it and then there's also um a fine line between that and bullying you're right for sure and then i heard one reaction channel like ew she's gross no a few of people said that they're like ew you're so gross saying about robbing the cradle <laughs> oh give me a fucking break freaking moron ew she's such a predator Oh well, I guess I am then. I'm coming for your sons, you better hide them if they're over 22. 22 is an adult, okay? Give me a break. Hi <sighs> Jacqueline, so crazy. Yeah, because no, I don't feel accountable for being abused, Layla, at all. Sorry. It took me a long time to come to terms with everything and feel angry like this, but now I do. So that's all that matters. And I have a right to block out all things related to that because it's not over for me. It's like, you know, yeah, how it went wrong. He was abusive, so it had to end, right? Yeah, at the end of things, that's the whole theme of it. That's the whole theme. Like, regardless of me having weak moments and wanting to go back, it's not going to change what happened or who he is to the core or wh what he did to me. Like, it's not going to change. And I, I can't do that to myself, you know? His privacy? Oh, well. He doesn't deserve... I, he, in my opinion, he didn't deserve it. And it doesn't matter at this point. Like, it doesn't matter. That doesn't give him a right to, you know what I mean? Yes, the arc is over, so it doesn't even matter, regardless. Sugar mama arc. Yeah, I think I'm a cougar. And for the record, I've said this many times, Layla, like, I said all those things referring to him because I never expected it to go further than just a hookup. I named him Dom because I didn't want to dox him and reveal who he was. I never thought anyone would find out who he was. Maybe that was naive at the time, but, you know, things went south very quickly and... I needed an outlet. I used to think, feel really bad for not giving him privacy, but I have not been with anyone that younger, no. And I always was opposed to it, Alexa. Like, I, I always thought, there's no way, but... Hi, Monica. Yeah. He's just so amazingly hot and I can't resist. <laughs> I don't know. Men who are 50 are too tired. Like, they don't, they're too opposite. Like, a lot of them are tired or don't like sex as much or have dad bods you know just i'm not into that <laughs> meanwhile my bod you just have to be like attracted i don't know you just have to be attracted to the person so i was never attracted to younger guys never i love a dad bod <laughs> really <laughs> i'm just insatiable i know i hear them of young men <laughs> it is kind of like a private diary your husband is still at monica really that's so cool Younger guys, girls have stamina. Yeah, that's it, yeah. I don't have much, but... No, I do, actually, but I don't. I just starfish, so... <sighs> or Jiffy Lube. Um, he works in construction, so... You did name him Dom. I did. I never came out and said this... You know, I never said his first and last name, this person, blah, blah, blah. It was just more of a passing, like, okay, we'll call him Dom. I wanted to, do, like, tell you about my Tinder dates, and this one just happened to involve illegal drugs and other things that I didn't expect. So I was, you know, telling you guys about it. So yeah, I mean, I can understand why he would be upset about that, but beyond that, it's just been horrible. And we're about the same age and I haven't bothered with sex in four years. <laughs> really? Well, no, everyone's different though. Because just like not long ago, I didn't have that much of a sexual appetite either. <clears throat> and I think now since going through what I did, I feel like I have more confidence in myself, more self-love, more, I don't know, but also 
that's the thing. Like, everyone would have found out who he was. Like, they would have found out who they are. It doesn't take long. I think I'm maturing a bit more, yeah. I just, I don't know. I'm getting old. I think I'll always laugh at farts, though. I remember before his face reveal, he was showing a card trick and you did something wrong. He was Rhonda. Oh, I paid for that. He was livid. You're learning what a narc is. That's a major lesson people don't realize. That word gets thrown around Vicky on YouTube so much. How did it give me more self-confidence? Because being in a narcissistic abusive relationship is like a narcissist will try to destroy you as a person. They just like suck the soul, right? Like they, they try to like, I don't know. And if you come out of the other side, you're stronger. Like you just realize, like I didn't have boundaries before being with this person. So I call them controlling as soon as I met him. Yeah, all of these red flags, all of these things that I just had no experience with, I haven't now through the, the living experience, unfortunately in a way, but yeah, the people, exactly. Like that's why when people call me narcissist, I'm a lot of, I can be a lot of things. I can have selfish tendencies and things like that, but learning what a true nar narcissist is, is it's really messed up. You really know what it's like. Are, are narcissistic parents abusive? Like, they're probably emotionally, inf uh, definitely emotionally abusive, eh? I don't, I don't know, I don't know if I'm an empath, but I feel like I was listening to what they were saying. <clears throat> oh, well, goodbye, Layla. Um, the way the, the dynamic of an empath and a narcissist are, like, how they become, they're addicted to each other, and I know that that I was addicted, so I was trying to figure out maybe why. But truly, because I really, really believed the facade. Like, you know what I mean? That was number one. By lying to myself a lot. It's just amazing. I'm feeling better, W. How much some self-respect and self-love will prevent you from wanting to even engage in any kind of toxic people, you know? Engage with toxic people at all. Sometimes it's a waste to even try to explain yourself because people only stand from their level of person. Exactly, they only understand from their, their lens, right? I feel like you felt you deserve bad treatment for some reason, but you don't at all. Of course, yeah, Monica, like that's where like the deflection would drive me nuts. I would feel like, you know, like you can't throw this on me. What? You know, yeah, it makes you feel like you're nuts. It's extremely sad. Alexis, did he ever stand you up? No. It was the opposite for... for us he for me it was i could not get any time alone for myself like if i wanted to go back to the villa and be at home with my cats and god forbid pete's or you know like just have an extra few hours if i wasn't right on time i would be like just he would be so mad like not happy about it so i always felt suffocated you can never win with the malignant narcissist i was with one before well so that's the deal. I just want to end that saying that, and I don't want to. Um, I just want to continue with this stuff, trying not to, you know. I'll get over this someday, I just know. Thanks, Monica. I know, I'm already, like, I feel so peaceful. It's just, I don't, no, I never, I didn't. No, she queen, no. Oh yeah, Holly, it's already, it's, the emotional torment is not this, this, this is not there, so I'm thankful for that. Hi, okay, Bella. It's more just anger, very quick to anger over the situation now, and I just have to prevent that. You know, because things could get worse for me if I don't, so. Which I'm aware, I'm not a dummy, like people think. That's my message for reaction channels, I'm not dumb. I realize this. I didn't notice how much anxiety I had with my ex nurses. <laughs> it's true. No, it's not I'm not allowed, I just don't want to. It is weird, Holly, it's so weird. You feel like you're in like a retreat hospital recovering from something. I don't know how to explain it. I don't know. But I always have anxiety and just want to curl up with a blanket and hide from the world. Oh, good night, Estrella. Hey, Vincenzo. I miss the late night singing, eating it. Honestly, Moscato, no, not anymore. Mm -mm. I used to, yeah. That's what I used to miss, those parts, but then... Every time I would, we would get back together and we would be doing those things, I would, it would, we wouldn't, like, things would be bad in, like, a day or two. And I would be back to my anxiety and thinking, why, see, like, why do I always do this? I always go back and I know that I don't want, like, do you know what I mean? Like, it's just, nothing changes, so. But no, now I don't feel, I don't wish that, no. I've been in a depressed state since my next stopped bothering me with, after I stopped giving him what he wanted. Because, uh, yeah, Alexis, you have to, like, I would do so much that I was, really stressed out like i was really feeling stressed out 
like really stressed out there was a lot on my shoulders just everything from like editing and then like filming because like yeah we would be cooking and stuff but i would have to like film and edit and you know so it was a lot for me too so i was just tired all the time <laughs> Vincenzo. once you're done you're done exactly and i think i'm at that point i mean it's been how long i know i still like reached out and everything but i haven't seen him i know monica and now they want me to look crazy but i'm not gonna allow that i'm not gonna give them any attention anybody attention and I'm trying to just block all negativity, you know. I hope in six months you were with the hottest man who knows how to cook. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I, I like being alone. I just don't mind just seeing different dudes and being safe about it, you know, or trying to. Is so that dead or hell even what you missed? Yeah, I'm heading around now, that's the thing. You always seem so drained after the, I know, or emotional and breaking down and crying and you guys would even be like, you see how you are? So, I mean, there's a reason my body body would react that way, you know? And I love the vibe in here. I said it that way, <laughs> Holly. I, I, I want it this way from now on because I feel things are going in a bit of a different direction for me and I just want it to, uh, I need some kind of, a different kind of support system now. So it's nothing personal blocking these people, but you know, like I said, I'm here with a level head. I'm not ragey. Um, these are just my feelings on it and I feel really calm that like that whole situation is not my problem anymore. Like the whole, I don't have to look for apartments. I don't have to worry about any legal cases. I don't have to worry about any of that shit, like money. I don't have to worry about it. All I have to worry about is myself, or, like my loved ones, of course, but like responsibility wise, I'm just responsible for myself at this point. And I like that feeling. I don't think that anyone should pit any all, all their responsibilities on somebody. Now you know what to look for though, right? <laughs> the red flags I, yeah like before i never had boundaries now i have some yeah holly i i yeah i lashed out on a few because of that it's like the opposite end now you don't trust anybody it takes a while yeah because you see how many people are like that you know like it's i think i'm gonna go to bed i'm really tired and falling asleep actually so that's good news I just want more positive people in here right now because I'm just, you know, I spend a lot of days, I spend a lot of hours in a day live streaming and surrounding myself with beezers, so it's just better. If I don't mind, like, you know, innocent trolling about McDonald's and shit like that. I just don't want, like, I can't wait when it comes to, you know what? I can't. I don't do the open chats very often. <laughs> they just go too fast. Good night, everybody.